Ayo, what's poppin'? We got our boy Brad, and he's coming. Okay, we're at my house right now. My boy Brad, he's coming here. He also does all the work on Nick's tanks. He's the one that does the water changes, kind of looks after all the stuff on like the more scientific side. So, buddy Brad, he's gonna come on over and he's going to uh, rescape my reef tank because uh, I wanna kinda take the more reefing side a little more serious versus like just fish keeping. I wanna kinda learn everything about it. So with that, we have to remove uh, my one main problem, which is my panther grouper. He's about, I don't know, we'll say eight-ish, seven to eight inches long, and uh, he's just not good in a reef tank. You know, he gets along with other fish fine. He just, I can't have cleaner shrimp. I can't have gobies to eat through the sand and stuff like that. So I'm going to get rid of him. I'm actually bringing him down to Nick's house now. Brad's going to come over, and he's going to rescape everything. So once we rescape, we're going to remove Mr. Grouper, and we're going to take that down to Nick, and uh, he's going to live a big happy life, and then hopefully we grow him big fat, and he goes into the big new pond once that is built. So we're waiting on Brad to get here, once Brad gets here, we will get into fixing these rocks and pulling the Grouper out of the tank. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Alrighty, so Brad is gone. And before we get into the grouper, because we know that's exciting, I'm more excited about this. Look at what he made my tank look like. This is crazy. All the fish are uh, still kind of pissed off, but it's fine. Oh, check out Mr. Krabs. He's digging away. He's checking out his new sand. All reorganized, all this. So we're going to add a whole bunch of coral in here. So that should be good. But what's more important is Mr. Grouper. Oh, yeah, he's mad. So, uh, we're gonna leave him alone. We'll turn his aerator back on for him. There we go. And then, uh, now we gotta drive to Nick's house. And, uh, Nick, this is now your responsibility, so have fun. Perfect size, jeez. Perfect size. A little bit bigger, and then he'll be able to go in the pond. So we're gonna get him in the 200 gallon for now. Oh, 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 okay, boom. There you go, buddy. You have plenty of rocks uh, to hide out in. These guys love hiding. Everything's pretty much the same size as that grouper in this tank, so everything can defend itself. They got plenty of room. We only have about five fish total in here. It's 200 gallons. And like I said, once he gets a little bit more size on him, same with our golden puffer, we'll move them both into the big pond. Ty? Yeah. Thank you, brother. No problem, anytime. What's his name? I didn't name him. Okay, well, drop some names in the comments down below. All right, take two. I was in the wrong focus. I was in manual focus. So I was definitely out of focus talking that whole time. So again, it's the next morning. And uh, I got Augie with me, yeehaw. And uh, here's the tank, it's looking good. So uh, Nick, I dropped the grouper off to him last night and uh, Mr. Birdnose is hiding back there, he's coming around. And uh, I put a diamond goby in here. I haven't seen him yet because he went like kind of back in there. Uh, I just put him in off camera. I took a funny Snapchat of him, uh, I'll play that. <laughs> I got a gooby. oh he's pissed, oh yes. That's a very nice right there, it's a very nice gooby. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's the goby I got. I put him in the tank. Haven't seen him. But uh, also, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much. If you like me, I guess you could subscribe if you'd want. But since we have no more grouper in here, I figured now it's perfectly set up for hopefully the best coral growth possible. I do know that I'm a little high in calcium, I believe. So I would like to get one or two hard corals to uh, kind of start using that. I have new... Uh, like reef salt that's coming in and uh, it's a little higher in calcium as well so that I don't have to worry about dosing anything hopefully I can just worry about doing water changes more frequent and everything should be good so we're gonna run and uh, I'm probably gonna go buy Nick's real quick just to check up on the grouper and everything and see how he's doing and uh, use him for my thumbnail and then uh, probably go to Andy's get some fish and we should be good or no Coral, we're not getting fish. Don't don't let me get fish. I mean, maybe it's okay. If, we, if I see two clownfish, I mean, maybe, you know? All right, we're in good mix now. What was that? Who's crazy? Andy's crazy. Oh my God, we're at aquarium shop. Hey, uh, so I think I, what, I think I said we were gonna go to Nick's, but he's still sleeping and it's 1, 8, 1 p.m. So he just came here to get coral instead. Oh, he's trying to make me buy fish. I'm not buying fish, I'm only buying coral, stop it. Fish. I'm gonna go in here and buy fish. Oh, I said I wouldn't buy fish, this? but look at- Oh, sorry, hey. That's a file fish. 
What? He yeah. Was ugly. Look at this guy. He's so pretty. Oh my goodness. We're getting him, right? Oh, I don't know. Oh, clownfish. I need clownfish. Well, I guess says, I don't need them. I want engineer. them. Oh, I'm an engineer. I'm not. Okay. Oh, that guy's I think he's a rabbit good. fish. Excuse me? Yeah. I think he's a type of rabbit fish. You're making that up. I definitely made that up, yeah. yeah. Oh, here's more diamond gobies. I want one more. Yeah, I wanted two, but I only found one the one day. This guy's got a cool. Oh, he is. He's a type of rass, I think. I don't know. Look at that guy in the back. I want a hawkfish. He's a type of hawkfish. But I, I wanted a long nose one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? What kind of trigger is that? That's a Niger trigger. Oh. It's 1G away from a whoopsie. <laughs> Jesus. I'm being serious, dude. Like, I don't know who's naming this stuff. They're getting sketched. A bunch of clownfish up there. Oh, I get came here for coral. What am I doing? No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it. No. No, you're getting that guy. So I talked to Andy and a, another gentleman who's here. Uh, he's big. I don't know if he grows coral or what he does, but he was telling me to get a uh, couple branching hammers. I don't know what he called that branching, that purple branch looking thing. Did you catch the name? Oh, I just missed it. Was it the acropora? I don't. It may. It may be that. It might be an acropora. I, I don't know. I'm not good with coral names, so. We're gonna, uh, we'll get one of those as well, and then uh, I'll get a couple acans on the backside there, just because I think they're cool, they're pretty. And then we'll get a diamond goby, a couple clownfish, and then um, possibly that yellow guy, just because he was really pretty. But I'll have to ask him, make sure he doesn't fight with any of the other angelfish or any shape like that. But I think we're gonna go with one of those there, and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so we changed our mind on this guy here, the lemon peel. Uh, he's gonna fight with my coral beauty, so we're changing our mind up. And we're doing Mr. Rabbit Fish right here. He's pretty. He's got some yellows, a little blue stripes on his head. He's got some spikes, so if anyone messes with him, he'll just poke him and he'll be done. And I think we're going to pick out the caramel clownfish. Haha, <laughs> what's up? Hey, uh, we got some fish. We got our clownfish in here. We got our, our rabbit fish. And then we see. got our couple corals in here. Hey, buddy, you'll see them when we get home, all right? I ain't too worried about it, okay? Should I do one of those classic into the bag and then out of the bag when we get home? Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Ready? No. Uh, I have a penis. <laughs> well, change of plans. We came to Nick's house. Hey, Ty. How's it going? It's nice to you, <laughs> How's it going? Ty so, uh, being shows yeah, I just showed up. Nick's been sleeping until 2.30, so he's got no, no excuses <laughs> for me. But the pond's looking good, Nick. I like it. Everything's looking back good. We are back in business. How about that? Everyone's pissed off, though. Everyone's pissed off. Everyone's, Everyone's pissed. pissed. Can we eat him? If we really wanted to, we could. He probably Ty, would taste really good. Unfortunately, you would never put your hands on him. He's okay. fast. That's why. Look how fast he is. You've asked me this question like, like 10 times. I touched him. <laughs> Your dogs are weird. God, he's so big. He's fat. But I guess uh, once the grouper gets big, he's going to go in here with all these guys. He'll make friends. And uh, Nick's just got to make them fat now. That's Nick's only job now. Make them big and fat. You going to get that new pond set up soon or what? Yeah. <laughs> Nick's been trying to get this. How many gallons is it? It's Ten thousand? No, it's five thousand. Six thousand gallons. Six thousand gallons. There's some gallons, uh, but he's been trying to get this new pond set up for three months now, yeah, probably. It's a process. And just finding a place to put something at that big is just impossible. So right now, this is kind of what he's been working with, and uh, temporary. Hopefully, in the next month or two, the new one will at least get started, right? Yes. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully so. All right, well, we're going to run inside, check on the grouper. We, he's probably hiding, and then uh, we got b big golden puffy in there, so we'll show you guys that, and then uh, we'll head back home. All right, we got a little shrimp right here. What? Puff. Oh, you got a shrimp? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. How'd he miss it? <laughs> Is it You're frozen? Sweet. Yeah, it's frozen. Oh, but so I, I, he's I not sure. frozen because he has that beak, and he just, he literally just bites it like it's nothing. Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, fuck. Oh, I scared him, damn it. Oh, there he goes. Here. Yeah, like, why are they the biggest, meanest fish in the tank, and then they run? Huh. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> why does he only want to bite my finger? <laughs> you're the guy who feeds him. He likes you. <laughs> oh, it's because you're the same color as him. Oh, Maybe he, puff. He, it's two males. He does, he's trying to fight. <laughs> he's trying to fight you. He's asserting dominance. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, hey, we're here. What? It's so dark. Is it dark? Should we yeah. flip? Give me a little flipper in you, dude. Dude, how's that? These are all the corals. I'm just gonna let them float a second because I really have to go, uh, I have to go relieve myself on the toilet. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna set these bad boys in here for a little bit. But oh, oh I thought I'm we were gonna sink a Rooney right there. And uh, we're gonna let them kind of get the temperature figured out. And then uh, here's the clownfish we chose. 
The little caramel clowns. They're really pretty. I'll show you guys them in the tank in a minute. They're really cool. They're, almost, they're like a regular clownfish, like a regular little Nemo, but they're a little on the darker side. And then uh, Mr. Rabbitfish. I thought he was dead for a second, but he's not. We're good. Yeah, that was it. I, I decided not to get the yellow angelfish because he would fight my coral beauty, and I don't want to lose my coral beauty. He's my OG fish. He's the only OG left. Oh, because so, the grouper was... Yeah, well, right. the grouper was another OG, and we got rid of him, so rip. But, um, actually, no, he came from Nebraska. Like, he's real OG. Like, he was the, the first one of the... I thought the grouper No, the grouper from... came from here when I moved back here. Oh. Yeah, so he's, he's a real OG, so... All these fish should get along, and then uh, I thought about getting another diamond goby, but I have one in here, and I don't want him to get too scared, so I'm gonna wait till he comes out and starts like cleaning the tank up, and then see how he does. If one cleans everything, if one doesn't clean everything, then we'll add another one sometime this next week. But uh, I still haven't seen him since I put him in here, so that's sweet. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then uh, we'll acclimate these fish, and then I'll pick the camera back up when they're all going in. So we got this guy here, and I was told he needs. That's a weird frag plug. Anyway. Uh, so he needs high flow, kind of high light. He said towards the top of the tank. When uh, when Brad was here, he told me that um, my calcium was a little high. So he said to get a few hard corals that absorb calcium pretty well. I got a branching hammer as well, because uh, he said that should help quite a bit. Hopefully, oh. this will balance everything out. Did he just bite it? He just bit it. He's trying to taste it. Excuse me, sir. Sir. That's not for you, sir. So I may need some glue to put this guy in. We'll glue a little dobble on the bottom and then... Squish him in like that. I think he'll do good there. So this is our branching hammer. So let's, uh, I don't know if it's an ORA or what he is. I, I kind of missed that part. We just set him like right here. I don't know. They need kind of like a medium flow, medium light. So we'll, we'll, we'll leave him there for now. And then uh, we lost the coral down here. Let's, let's, let me grab his bag here. This is one of our uh, A cans that we got. And it's got a weird plug on it. Oh, just kidding, there's a snail on it. We'll put this guy. Uh, he said uh, like a low flow, low light. He's like usually anywhere near the bottom of the tank's pretty good. We'll do something like that for now. Uh, I'm kind of gonna let them open up and hang out. And uh, if they look happy where they're at, then that, that's a win. You know, it's a win in my book. But uh, let's get these fish acclimated. All right, you ready? Up and in. Yeah, buddy, you can swim out whenever you'd like. Okay, like you do it sometime today. Like, Jesus. All right, you're, you're good enough. <laughs> He's so confused on what's going he on. He's like, where the hell am I at? Hi, buddy. He's so tiny. He is. I didn't realize how small he actually was. You and both at the same time? Oh, yeah. They, they, they're a family now. Oh, yeah, they gotta stay okay. together. They're they're oh, I'm smacking the camera. Whoops. So, there's one's bigger than the other because uh, one's gonna be the female and one's gotta be the male. And they'll figure that out on their own. Usually the bigger one's the female. Or at least they'll turn into a female. But look at them. Pretty. They're so pretty in here. That's awesome. Hopefully they do uh, pretty good, but I'm gonna let them sit for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe even an hour, and uh, I'll check on all the quarter, the, the quarter, the coral, and uh, make sure all the fish are doing good. I kind of sit here and watch them for a little bit, let them get kind of comfortable and figure out their surroundings and everything, and uh, I'll, I still haven't fed the fish for today, so I'll, I'll feed them real quick. And well, like once they're all comfortable in a few minutes or so, and uh, hopefully I make sure everybody eats and no one's getting bullied, and yeah, so let's wait and do that. Alrighty, it is time to feed the fishies. So everything's looking good. The hammer's starting to open up a little bit. The A can's opening up and uh, I glued down the, uh, we figured out what it was and I already figured out what it was. It's a styrofoam coral or something like that. I don't know, st st stylophen, st stylophane? St style something, I don't know what it's called, but uh, that's what the purple guy is. And uh, everyone's looking good. The two clownfish are swimming around doing pretty good. And uh, our rabbit fish is hiding under these rocks there. If I could show them. Let me see if I can get them on here. Oh, I can't see him. Hang on. There's his tail right there. Right there. That's his tail. He's, he's, a, little, he's a little nervous. So it's all right, though. Maybe the food will, uh, will entice him to uh, come on out. So I just uh, start dribbling a little bit in. See who comes up. They're all kind of trained to know exactly what's going on here but uh we got quite a bit of food in here oh clownfish over here is eating this guy's eating everybody's eating right now just our rabbit fish is he's hiding up under there still everyone else looks pretty good though everyone's happy healthy clownfish are going crazy which is good but uh, other than that that's about all i got for you guys today thank you so much for watching again if you're new Please hit the subscribe button, like the video, it really helps me out, it helps boost the video a little bit, get a little more views, and um, gets me a little more encouragement to make more videos. So, thank you guys so much again, and uh, yeah, bye.